In this video we will see how to read and delete data stored in Google Sheets from an interface created with App Inventor 2. By clicking on the Read All button, the Android application displays all the records of the Google Sheet in a list view. And to delete a recording, just select an item in the list then click on Delete. We will start with the Google Sheet. Click on Tools then on Script Editor. We first create the DoGet and DoPost functions. DoGet generally works in a browser, DoPost works for App Inventor 2. The web app is activated when the URL to the Webot is called with parameters. Each action available in the web app is summoned with the func parameter. In this example, you have the choice between two func parameters, readle to call up all records and delete to delete a record. This part of code is used to return the currently active spreadsheet. Get the first sheet of this spreadsheet. Select the entire data range and return an array of all the data on the sheet. Return raw textual content. Save and publish your script. You need to run the script as you, but allow access to anyone, even anonymous. Now in App Inventor to realize an interface which contains a button, a list view, and an invisible web component. In the block part, create a variable that will contain the URL of the web application. This URL is the concatenation of the current web application URL that ends with slash exec. The spreadsheet id parameter is used to identify which spreadsheet is to be accessed or altered. This id is the value between the slash d slash and the slash edit in the URL of your spreadsheet. and the name of the sheet. When the Read All button is clicked, we add the font parameter to the URL of the web application and then call this URL to activate the web application. Once the request is complete, a text is retrieved in the form of a table in CSV format. This text is parsed to produce a list of rows, each of which is a list of fields. Then we go through this list of lines to fill an empty list called Summary. We put the value 1 in index to display the first column. And each time add an element to the list view. Here, we want to remove this header from the list. Now we will see how to delete a recording. In the script part, the following condition is added, if the func parameter equals delete then the id parameter is assigned to a record variable. Once we get the leaf, we use the delete row method to delete the row at the specified index of a table. A response is returned either data or a message. If no valid function request is made, an error message is returned. 
Remember to always republish your script in a new version if you make any changes. In the designer part of App Inventor, add the delete button. If the delete button is clicked then the URL of the web application is called. Add the id parameter. It is the index of the element currently selected in list view, starting from 1. And for the func parameter it is set equal to delete. 